I'm glad you're back with me today. Today I'm going to show you how to pick out stitches. Now, what, what had happened this morning is I was going to do some free motion quilting on this quilt here and then show you what I was doing on the free motion quilting front. And my machine started acting up and wasn't happy and wasn't giving me lovely even stitches like it was, normally does. So I got my husband to take it out to the garage and take out all the lint. Basically give it its monthly cleaning because it, it just wasn't working. It didn't matter which kind of quilting foot I was using. It didn't matter. any. It just like it was not happy. So now I understand like this, you gotta remember, this is a charity quilt. I don't mind having odd stitches and, you know, weird lengths and all that stuff as long as I'm not getting great big long toe grabbers on my quilts that I'm keeping in my house. But this quilt is special. It's going to a charity. Somebody's going through a very difficult time and I would like it to be the best it could be. So. These stitches are all coming out. <laughs> We're coming up with a different plan. And that's going to happen. That happens to the best of us. It's not you. It's not just you. Or it's not just your machine. Or it's not just, you know, there's days where you just have a problem. But it can be deal. If you have a problem, we have to deal with it. Right? So I'm going to try and show you how to deal with it when you're not happy with your stitches. But. Keep this in mind, people wouldn't normally see this, so they wouldn't see the uneven stitches. Once it's, it's all quilted and once it's all washed, they wouldn't see it. They wouldn't see mistakes, little mistakes. It's just like for me, I thought, this is the perfect time for me to show you how to undo something, how to undo some quilting. So come on here a little closer, I'm going to explain to you what tools you need. Okay, so we're here. I'm hoping you can see it's these three triangles that I'm going to be pulling out stitches from. And now the tools you're going to need for this is a tweezer, a good tweezer. Now if this is a cosmetic tweezers. There are, you can buy the real needle nose ones. This one's quite good because it's got little sharp points on it and it's got a sharp side point. Um, you'll need a stitch ripper. It doesn't matter if you've got the one with the ball on it or not, but make sure it's sharp. And um, this stitch ripper has uh, one of these ends where it's kind of a rubberized ends. And what it'll do is help you remove the little dots out of your work as you go. So if you don't have one of these stitch rippers with this end, you're going to need a white polymer eraser. And this is the brand I prefer. You can pick them up when your the school supply sale should be still on at the some of the the office stationery supply stores. But you know this is you know one that you can pick up reasonably priced. So what I'm going to do now this I just had some really horrid stitch quality here. I didn't have anything really even or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you. The back is here, and I'm hoping that, no, you can't see, it's better on the front. Okay, so there's uneven stitches. Now, I don't mind uneven stitches for a quilt. I'm going to use my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently take this, and I'm going to try and get one at the top of the curve, or near the top of the curve. And all I do is I pull that top thread out like that. And we're just going to... And sometimes it needs a little bit of help there. And sometimes you pull the bo uh, the bobbin thread out too, which is okay. That's that's actually not a bad idea because the bobbin thread sometimes will just all come out at once, right? So, and uh, let's see, let's see if we can't get a better one here. But you know, while you're picking this out, don't be angry with yourself. Everybody has to do this at some point. Everybody has to go through the, you know, the, the pain of trying to un unsew something or, you know, and it's not, it's not an embarrassing thing. It's, you know, it is what it is. And you just, you know, 
if you have to pick it out. Now, the problem with picking out stuff, now you can see I'm just putting a little pile here. I'm sure everybody thinks I just chuck it on the floor, and if you saw my floors in this room, you would have no doubt that I throw it on the floor. But, <laughs> you know, everybody does this, and you shouldn't be hard on yourself. It's pointless to get angry, you know, you just pick them out, and you're just, you know, thinking, okay, next time what can I do different? Well, my next time was I need to clean my machine out, so that was okay. It, it's doable. Everything is doable if you just breathe and take some time to think about it. Not everybody's going to have a good day stitching, too, right? That's the other thing to remember. Is some days go much better than others. Now, you see, I basically am pulling out all the thread. And every once in a while, I'll grab the, the bottom thread here and just give it a good pull. And it usually comes out pretty quickly. And then it's easier to pull out the top. But, you know... If you didn't, if you didn't point out this mistake, or this, you know, the problem that I had with this, and I gave this quilt to a charity, I mean, the person that got it probably wouldn't see it. I mean, that's the reality of it. But I thought the uneven stitching and everything was just, just bugging me today. And it was one of those days where, no, I don't like it, I'm not doing this today, not here, not now. And it's okay, and I wanted you to know that it's okay to make those kinds of decisions, you know. It's your quilt, you can make those decisions. But, you know, like now you have to be able to fill, figure out how to fix all the zillion of little holes that are created by your needle, right? So that's what I wanted to show you, because I figured that was important. And, here we go. And there, that one is done very quick. Now what I, if you didn't have an eraser top, what you're basically going to do is just drag it back and forth. Now, when you wash this quilt, all those little pinholes will go away. And, you know, but you don't want to make the same, follow the same lines either, because they're kind of, they're there and they're present. Some people get a little weird about it. Or if I chose to do a completely different pattern now, I don't want that pattern to be seen, that old pattern to be seen. Now this is, and this, and back's pretty much picked. So we're just going to continue here, but I want you to know it's okay to make mistakes. Because I think that is important that you understand that it's okay. Because a lot of people, they get into quilting and they go, they see all these gorgeous quilts and they figure that, oh, people don't make mistakes on them. I couldn't find a mistake. Well, yes, we make mistakes. Yes, we make mistakes. Yes, we waste thread. Yes, we unsew. And, you know, I just wanted you to know that we do this, right? It's a time to be kind in the world today with the pandemic and everything. It's time for you to be kind to yourself and about what you're able to do. You know, you need to have that, just somebody on your, on your side. And if that, the only person you're going to be able to find on your side is you, well, you know, then, then that's okay too, right? So this comes out really quick, by the way, once you just loosen a few stitches. Now, if you were on a flat seam, you would do like every you know, every third or fifth stitch and it would come out. Most of the time, when you're quilting, you have your stitches are a little bigger, so they're a little easier to get out than if you're uh, removing a flat seam. But, you know, just be kind to yourself and figure, okay, I'll learn something new today as to how to pick stitches, right? So, that's okay. I hope you can see well enough here, but you move quite along quite quickly once you just pull a few odd stitches, you know, you just pull them out, just like that. And yes, we all do this. We all make mistakes. It's fine. 
There we go. I'm just about done this block too. There. So when you're thinking, when you're doing this, think about happy things. Don't get frustrated. Don't get angry. Don't sit there and judge yourself and say, well, I could have done that a whole lot better. I could have done, you know, I should have done this or I should have done that. That's not what this is about. Okay, now. And we're just going to get the last of this. And I wonder, yep, there's all the back. The back is all there, ready for me to just break off. There. So we've got two squares done. Now, I'm going to pick the last bit by myself. And I will be back here and I'll show you what, what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, we're done picking those three little squares. And I've tried to remove as many um, dots from the needle or little holes from the needle as I could. Before you actually move this around too much, make sure you repin, you know, what you've just unpicked because, you know, like you have to have some kind of pin basing to hold the block in place. With this quilt, I did the horizontal design lines and the vertical, so the only thing now that's loose is that 12 inch square, right? This, this is how much thread came out of that. So that, you know, kind of, I was quite surprised. I'm always surprised how much thread comes out of here. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like. If I can, hopefully we'll get this. Oh, there. That's what it looks like when it's done. <coughs> there are still little pinholes, so if that really bothers you, you can take your finger and your fingernail and just kind of scratch at them and they do go away. Or like this and just give them a little scratch. They will disappear when it's washed, but it, you know, some people find that distracting when they're re-sewing. So it'll be fine. Anyways, I hope you have a beautiful, happy day ahead. And, <coughs> excuse me, and I hope you find you have a joyful day stitching. Okay, you take care and I'll see you here back again next week. Okay, bye. If you have questions about what you saw in this video or you have ideas for content or something you want to see us do, please put those comments in the description below. But also while you're there, like, share and subscribe with your friends. That would really help us out. Okay, I want to thank you and have a great day.